Hey everybody, Charlie Niner 2 here, and welcome to Uru. I guess that's the way to say it. Or maybe Uru. I'm gonna say Uru. Uru! So this is uh the fifth game in the Mist series, but it's not Mist 5. This was originally intended to be an online multiplayer game, as far as I'm aware, and it's a fully rendered 3D game, meaning unlike the last games where you're kind of looking at pictures or FMV-type gameplay, this you're actually in a fully rendered 3D world. Um, I did read some the synopsis of the story that's supposed to happen between Mist 4 and this game. It appears we are now in present time. Apparently the land of Denis, or the age of Denis, uh, connects to Earth uh, via tunnels, and it was discovered, and now there's like a restoration council. I think it's called the Denis Restoration Council of uh, modern-day doctors and scientists and you know archaeologists who are trying to restore the age of Denis. And there's probably a lot more to that story than, than the synopsis I read, but that's basically the gist of it. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, technical things before I started, I have this running at 2K, but it is, I think, 4x3. So you're going to have a square, you're going to have black bars on either side. There's nothing I can really do about that. Also, uh, OBS would not read this as a game, so I'm capturing my display. So we may have some pop-ups pop up from time to time. I will try to avoid that. And I hope I have it centered as much as possible. You can see the edge of the screen here and the edge of the screen here. Um, this, the furthest I have made it into this is this next menu here where you have this awkward looking character creator. Uh, and I went to this screen so that I could center the screen and get my uh, recording set up. So, without further ado, we are doing our character creator. As you can see, we are Charlie Niner 2. Uh, I forgot this Denise script. I think I threw away my notes from the first Mist. Uh, but these should be... Uh... Actually, no, this was from the last game, Mist 4. This was the uh, script for the uh, names uh, Yisha and Atris and everything else like that. So yeah, I need to dig up those notes and see if I can read that later on. Let's start at the top, shall we? Let's pick a hairstyle. Oh my goodness. Uh, this guy? No. This guy looks like he's trying to sell you something at Best Buy. Look, he's even got the like dad shoes on, the New Balances, and he's got a shirt tucked in. Yeah, we're going straight dad style here. What if we put a hat on? That way, is he bald? Is he not bald? Who knows? Um, definitely not the ponytail. Is there more? There is more. There's only one screen or more. Look at this guy's head. Can we turn him? No, we... Whoop, we can't turn him. All right, I think we're going to go with that hairstyle. Can we change the color? We can change the age. What does that do? Oh, it just adds <laughs> wrinkled textures. Let's go medium. There you go. Oh, you can stop in between, too. Yeah, he's, he's, he's seen a few things, right? Like, he's he's got a dark past. Let's try his build. Can we do dad bot? We can do dad bot. <laughs> Here, let's let's go a little bit of Pudge. Like he's he's a little past his prime, but he's still ready for adventure. All right, face. Oh god. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's look at the texture options. What? Oh no. Oh, this is this is this is just as bad as the Dark Souls character creator, isn't it? Sure, texture one. Texture two? I don't rightly know what I'm changing here. Skin color. Okay, we can make him undead. Yeah, let's give him a little bit of a little bit of a tan. Not too much. You know, he's he's to the age where he's concerned about melanoma. He's wearing his sunscreen. Wow, it's hard to get like a believable color here. You look like you're dead, dude. That's a little color, but it's like too much color. We can't go light skin without him looking dead. We'll go there. Don't know what these texture do. Nose angle, nose width, mouth, chin angle, cheeks, chin width, eyebrows. No, nope, we're going with that. I like the default look here. Should we give him some glasses? Huh? 
Old age is getting to your sight. You need your reading glasses now. Here's where it's like he's he's not ready to give up the ghost. He still wants to seem young and cool with his knockoff Oakleys, but we're not going to do that. No glasses. All right. He's got contacts. He's got a 401k. He can afford the contacts. Item description. Face. Eyes. We'll go with my eye color. We'll go with like a sapphire blue. There you go. Sapphire blue. What is that face? How do we go back to the last menu? Is it this one? No, we don't want to reset. Do we click here? How do we go back? Can we deselect face? Oh, okay. Upper body. Okay, so this is close. Yeah, a little too dad shirty with this. Let's go. Uh, he's got a little more style to him. What's no, not that. There you go. Just, just button up. We can make the angry video game nerd if we can make that white. There you go. <laughs> James Roth. Let's go. Uh, let's choose something else. Long sleeve. No. No, no, no. He's not doing long sleeve. He's doing short sleeve for sure. Polo? Is there more? Oh. He can have the jean shirt. They all have to be tucked in, it looks like. Hey, we'll go t-shirt. And look, we got t-shirts. We got mist. Riven. You know what? We're going to put the mist shirt on. He's a mist fanboy. Can we change the color of the shirt to more... Of a mist color. There we go. Oh, not not too blue now. There you go. Just enough to bring out your eyes. Yeah. He's got his mist t-shirt on. Hands. Look at him. He rides a motorcycle on the weekends. No, we're not doing that. We may need some gloves. Like, we may be grabbing some stuff we don't want to grab. But we're, we're going to go just bare hands. Lower body. It's hard to say no to the jeans. We could go jorts. That looks nothing like this. I think khakis is like, they're not even cargo khakis. Oh, these are cargo khakis. Like, that's an adventure, right? You're wearing cargo khakis, you're ready to go on an adventure. Let's make them tan. Can't really make them tan, can't we? Eh, that's... Gray will work. The belt. Can't even see the belt. We'll leave it black. He goes, he's got his cargo pants on. He's got his mist shirt. Are there no boots? That's about as adventury as I can find. You know, <laughs> look at that. He's <laughs> he's just coming out the uh the land shark Jimmy Buffett bar. Ready to go on an adventure with his sand. You know what? We're putting sandals on him. I can't not put those on for comedic effect. You know what? Because he's got sandals, I think he should have some cargo shorts on. <laughs> not the chocolate chip Desert Storm cargo ones. We'll go with some plain cargo shorts. You know, he he's just got lost at the uh, at the park. Somehow he ended up on this exploration to Denis, but he's a Mist fanboy with his cyan-colored shirt. He's ready to go. Yeah, I think this is Charlie Niner too. Let's call it. Feet, is there anything else we can choose? <laughs> you, could go, you could go barefoot. <laughs> we're not doing that. He's got his sandals. All right, we're going to go ahead and take an adventure to Uru. Let's do it. I could stay at that character creator screen forever. Oh, story. Isha, last night your mother had a dream. The dream tells that the ancient Dunny city will grow again someday. New seekers of Dunny will flow in from the desert, feeling called to something they do not understand. But the dream also tells of a desert bird with the power to weave this new Dunny's future. We fear such power. It changes people. Isha, our desert bird, your search seems to take you further and further from us. 
I hope what you find will bring you closer. Okay. Why is the video so small? So it's Dunny, not Denny. Oh, okay. Welcome to Uru. Mouse presets. Novice or normal? What's the difference? We'll go normal. All right, so WASD to move. No, not WSD to move. It looks like arrow keys to move. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Can we change these? Shift to run, F1 to switch view. Oh, you can walk with the mouse, which isn't ideal either. Oh, my God, this is going to be horrible. Walk backwards is center mouse. Look around as right mouse. Select. Oh, this is not going to be... What's this? Can we click this? We can't click this. Okay. Now, these are presets. Maybe we can change these. Oh, my God. We're... All right, we're just in it. This looks... This does look like an MMO. Okay, we can move the view, but not 100% freely. All right, can we move WASD? Come on, hit me, let me hit escape. Is there no menu? Oh, we have to walk with the mouse? Oh, I really don't want to use arrow keys. Oh, look at them back up. It's like a tank control here. This is tank controls. How did you end up here, good sir? Like, you've got your, you've got your cargo shorts on. You've got your, your Jesus sandals. You got your mist fan shirt. This is going to be rough, guys. Can we look around while we walk? Yes, we can, and we'll make everybody sick if we do that. All right, F1 is change view. Okay, so we do have a first person, which does allow us to view 360. Man, can I play this with a controller? I think I'd rather do that, or at least have WSD. Space bar jumps. It is a very... Moon-like jump. Is there not a menu? How do I, like, save and whatnot? Oh, ooh, what's this? Here we go, game settings. Uh, display controls, display shadows, sound effects, music, voices, ambient sounds, advanced. Shadow quality, mouse turn, number of sounds. Stay in first person. Go to where I click. Can All right, so stay in first person probably just means I toggle first person. Pan while moving. Invert mouse look. Smoother camera. Just display controls? Key map. Oh, here we go. Move forward. W. Move back. S. Rotate. Rotate is going to be Q. Rotate is going to be R. Jump space bar, side step will be A, side step will be D, exit mode, escape, that'll work. First person is F1, I mean, I guess, it's a really weird first person, we might change that. F2 is key? F3 is Relto book. F4 is options. F5 is take pictures. So F1 through F5 are various things. All right, we'll, we'll learn that, hopefully. I don't know what toggle key. I don't know what Relto book is. First person is F1. All right, go back. Experience pack one credits, two credits, Uru credits. Calibration help and that's the help okay go back resume okay now i can kind of control yeah here we go can we run we can run wow so this is uru the complete collection i think is the one i have why is this si all right so you cannot sidestep while walking forward you can turn Oh, why did I set that to R? Hold on, let me fix that. That's the wrong button. Uh, key map. This needs to be E, not R. All right, resume. 
There we go. All right, I guess we'll go to this uh, cabin over here. I'm loving the cargo shorts. Definitely a good choice. I think the cargo pants may have offered more protection, but it looks hot out here in wherever we're at. Arizona, New Mexico, West Texas, Southern Colorado. Maybe higher up. I don't know. Got the awesome music going. Alright, good sir. You there. Whoa. Hey. Camera, camera's oh. freaking up around. So, uh... I'm Zandy. I probably know more about why you're here than you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You felt drawn here, just like the others. Are there subtitles? I, I'm not really here to give you answers, just to give you the help and get you started. She's left a message for you in the cleft. Listen to it well. Follow her. Find the journals. And then... Enter the tree. Oh, and uh, check with me if you need help. Are there subtitles? I'm not seeing subtitles. What we will do is we'll turn down... We'll definitely turn down music. Sound effects will turn down, ambient sounds will turn down, and we'll leave the voices up. Maybe that will help. But yeah, I'm not seeing a subtitle option. Am I just going over it? Pan while moving might be worth looking into. All right, go back. Key map, that doesn't have subtitles, right? No. Calibration, no. Experience pack, I'm not hitting those. Okay. Okay, so, will you say all that again, sir? Why we have the weird view here? Oh my goodness. Can I click on you? Hey, welcome. So, uh, I'm Zandy. Zandy. I probably know more about why you're here than you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You felt drawn here, just like the others. I, I'm not really here to give you answers just to give you help and get you started she's left a message for you in the cleft listen to it well follow her find the journeys and then enter the tree oh and uh, check with me if you need help okay so well you're going to need power for that imager in the cleft. Try releasing the brake on the windmill first. Okay, so an imager in the cleft. Yisha's apparently left messages. For Can we play this in first person? This might be worth... This might be better to do. Uh, we got to release the brake on the windmill. We suck at sidestepping. Like, look at this. Is this the brake? Can we touch it? Oh, oh, okay. Did I did I break the game? Hmm. Maybe we have to go to this view. Okay. Yeah, because when we were in first person, it didn't show us any of that. Oh, look, there's stuff down there. Is this the cleft he was talking about? Like, the hole? Maybe if we... Oh, my goodness. This is tough to control. Uh, yeah, I can see why people struggle with this one. We can't push this way, either. Can we jump? Can we side jump? We cannot. All right, let's go over here. Can we... Can we activate this? This thing? This looks like it might be the brake, right? Huh. 
Doesn't seem interactable. I'm also not super confident in my controls right now. Can we not turn? Here we go. And pushing doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, I'm sorry, I just hit the mic arm. There is a rope. Does that do anything? Well, I need to turn off the like click to walk. This is this is rough. Oh no, just turn the yeah, because when I hold click, it walks, but I also need to click to interact with things. Hold on, let's, uh... No, stop. Stop pushing on that. What are you doing? Get off of that. Back up with your tank controls. Key map again. Just give me a minute. It'll, it'll take a, a minute to get this. We can't map the mouse? Uh... I do this for you guys. And I can't seem to interact with this. So, tell you what, let's just go look at some other stuff. We'll come back. It may just be a UI issue that I'm having, or maybe I do need some other stuff. Can we just jump down here or do we die? Probably die. Oh my goodness, stop, stop looking down there. So here is the way down. Man, the controls are horrible on this. It's gonna. The camera is horrible too. It's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, down. So this is the cleft, I'm sure. Now, if I press W, am I gonna walk forward or am I gonna walk towards the ladder? I am gonna walk forward. This is 100% tank control. Oh my god. So this is very bad Resident Evil tank controls. And I'm dead. Can I use this as a ladder? I can. I can't. Okay, yeah, I do. Do have to press forward. Alright, so I can go in here. And press this. Okay, uh, we can take pictures. F5? Does, does that work? F1 and then F5? I thought we could take pictures. Was that F5? Yeah, take picture. Maybe I don't have the apparatus to take a picture yet. In that case, I'm going to draw a hand and I'm going to highlight the thumb. done got it on my notes here let's go back and yes i 100 cent apologize so walking around in first person is way easier so i may do that for the majority of the game this is just a lot easier to control okay we grab some goggles let's read this note I will use them to bring me to the least impossible. Our dearest Yisha, last night your mother had a dream. We know that some futures are not cast by writer or maker, but the dreams tell us that Dunny, not Dunny, Dunny, will grow again someday. New seekers of Dunny will flow in from the desert, feeling called to something they do not understand. But the dream also tells of a desert bird with the power to weave this new Denny's future. We fear such power changes people. So this is what Atrus was saying in the beginning. You sure are a desert bird. Your search seems to take you further and further from us. I hope that what you find will bring you closer, your father Atrus. What I have learned must be returned. Now his burden is mine. To the least impossible. Okay. So this was Yisha's room. Can we interact with the shelves? No. 
Yeah, walking in first person is way easier than trying to use the tank controls in third person. Uh, what's down here? Let us not forget we can jump. Does that mean we can, like, climb up? No. Ledge grabbing, not a thing. Let's go up here. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to play a lot of this in first person. Just, just for ease of use. Okay. Stuff on the floor. What is this? What is that? Now, I'm going to have to exit first person just to see what he does. Okay, he tries clicking. Nothing happens. We put the goggles on. At least it appears so. If we move this around, oh, there's stuff all over the place. All right, let's look over here. A button. And then there's this. All right, I am going to draw this real quick. So we got a circle divided into four pie slices. Top one looks like a spiral with a reticle or crosshair. Second one looks like a Velveeta shells and cheese shell. Bottom one looks like a stopwatch with like what zodiac symbol is that? Pisces? I'm bad at zodiac symbols. A stopwatch with like a weird X over it. And it looks like the X on the top has a fork on the right side. And then the one on the left looks like a weird version of an H inside of a square. All right, I think I have it drawn at least to where I can understand what it is. We'll probably have to use that at some point. Can we see these? Uh, looks like some type of a apparatus with a battery. Can we click on this? No. And I'm going to go around this table and see what we can see. What is this? Just a doodad to look cool, or is it something we can interact with? Doesn't look like we can. Shelving, nothing here. All right. Okay, so here's the thing on the wall. Can we change these? Yes, we can. All right, so I just wrote these down. So it should be the spiral crosshair at the top, the Velveeta shells and cheese on the right. Boom, and then it should be the stopwatch on the bottom and the weird H thing here. Wait, what? That didn't do anything? We can literally just turn and look at it here. Like, that's, we chose the right stuff. What am I missing here? Does it just not do anything? Oh, he said I needed power. Yeah, we need to get the uh, windmill working, huh? What's over here? A grindstone that probably goes directly up to the windmill. Is this the brake? Can I access this? Oh, is that here? Hold on, let's let's access that again. Or uh, access, let's activate that again. Yeah, that's the brake. Okay, so that's why I couldn't push it. So now I bet if we go back up top and push, it'll probably spin freely. Cool artwork in the wall. This appears to be a kitchen of sorts. Does this open the door? We don't have power. That's why it wouldn't open the door. That makes sense. All right, let's go get power reestablished. 
But first, we need to find out how to get out of here. We need to go and climb up over there. Do we just... Nope, we just fall. Okay. Well, hopefully there's no fall damage. Let's go up here. We'll go get the windmill back online, and then we'll come back down. Now, as far as difficulty, don't know if this is supposed to be more or less difficult than the other missed games. I believe I read somewhere that Riven is supposed to be the hardest, but I don't know how accurate that is. And for me personally, it seems like overlooking items is my Achilles heel more so than figuring out how to actually do the puzzles. Like I'll miss a switch or I'll miss a button or I won't look behind a door in Riven. But the puzzles themselves usually don't seem to be too hard as long as if I can figure out if I have all of the information available to me, they're usually not too bad. Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. And then let's get out of the way before it comes and hits us in the butt. Okay. Windmill's up and running. This is Black Mesa. This is Black Mesa, is it? Are we in the uh, Half-Life universe here? All right, let's run. Yeah, first person, definitely the way to go for, like, controlling the character. Now, can we... Yeah, he automatically goes to the, uh, the ladder. Okay. But, yes, I, I can already tell that the clumsy controls are going to be probably harder than most of the the other things in this game. Can I run and jump? Can I... You can jump while moving. Can we do this? Boom, look at that. Platforming 101, but this is closed. Can we climb in through here? No. So we're just going to have to drop down over to... Yeah. We're going to go back to this side, all the way over around. Riveting gameplay. But I get it. Like, they wanted to do a more immersive mist experience, and it was supposed to be multiplayer. I don't think that ever came to fruition, or if it did, it didn't come to fruition in the way that was intended. But here we go. Okay, yeah, so now all of the buttons have illuminated, it looks like. Let's try this one. Press it. Is that Yisha? Once again, the stream in the cleft has begun to flow. It was dry for so long. The water is flowing in from the desert. The storm is coming. Have you heard of the city? The deep city, the ancient Uru? It is Uru. It power to write worlds. For thousands of years, the city lived, lived beneath the surface. Keeper of the secret. Keeper of the power. Keeper of the ages. Always keeping. The city grew proud, and then it died. The water flows where it wills. It seeks its own path uncontrolled, except that it flows downward, always downward. Denis, the city of ages, of other worlds, died. But now it breathes again. It awaits. Some will seek that destination. But you should seek the journey. It's as a fine tapestry, complex beyond comprehension, but now torn. We will show you remnants, pieces of the tapestry, pieces of the journey. Find these remnants, these journeys. Seven. Seven in each age. Seven here in the desert. Consider it a quest. No. A request. Worship. The water flows downward. 
and there it pulls and collects, and finally, once again, it reaches the roots, and the tree begins to grow again. I am Yisha. My parents brought me to this place. You are Yisha. We will bring you. Okay. So we have seven of these to find in each place. Let's press this one. So seven of them create a whole hand, right? So we found one. This will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Seven in each age, right? So we found two. What is this? Wait, what? Do it again. Hmm. Look like a book or something flashed there. Now, we should be able to open this door now. Is this moving? Yes, it is. And this will allow us to... kind of have a shortcut, right? But we still have to jump if we go that way. We can also go this way. She said the water is new. It's coming in from the desert. I see the hand. Okay, so once we find all seven, this probably opens down here, right? Um, are these jumps we have to make? This one is. Appears to be like a washroom. Is there anything we can do in here? Doesn't appear so. What is this thing? Oh, okay. Hmm. feel like we probably want that down since it was in the up position to start with. And let's jump. Platforming is not going to be fun in this game. Oh, let me mute. I have to sneeze. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue on. We can drop down over here, though I don't see a point. Here's that bucket. Is there anything in it? Water looks good. Good reflection. And I bet you if we try pressing the hand here... Oh, hey, there's a reason to bring the bucket down. Four more, right? I bet this won't do anything yet. Yeah. All right, so can we go up here? We can. Kind of. Jump. Jump. All right, so we need to find the other tapestries. Is that what they're called? There didn't appear to be one down there. Got to keep an eye out for them. They kind of blend in. But then again, textures aren't the best in this, so everything kind of blends in. Let's jump. All right, so there's probably some more that aren't in this cleft, as she called it, which just makes me uncomfortable saying that. And here we are back on the surface. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.